The Vivo V20 Pro is one pretty phone, but what else can it do? Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. So, this video is a little different. You see, finding the right phone is much like finding the right partner. There's no one perfect phone, there's only perfect for you. And because there are so many phones in the market, I've decided to help you find the perfect phone fit. In this video, we're looking at the Vivo V20 Pro, which I just unboxed, link up here and down below. I've been using this thing for the past few days and even brought it along for a shoot. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how this phone has been performing. And well, you should buy this phone if you care about looks. If you are attracted to nice things, if you, like me, believe that phones should not only be functional but should also be looking good, if you want a device that's representative of your colorful personality, if you want brightness shining through that AG matte glass, if you want to show off that quiet strength and resilience exemplified by how you won't be affected by the fingerprint smudges of life, yeah, the Vivo V20 Pro might be the phone for you. I mean, it's also just you're gonna be spending your hard-earned money on a phone that you're always gonna be holding, you're always gonna be looking at. Might as well get a beautiful one that sparks joy whenever you look at it. Honestly, one of the best looking phones in the smartphone market right now, the Vivo V20 Pro becomes more than just a utilitarian device, it becomes an accessory. This phone feels good in hand and this is actually the thinnest 5G phone available. It sports a 6.54 inch AMOLED display which is bright and responsive so it looks good also up front, not just at the back. There is no 90Hz refresh rate on this phone. I know that's something a lot of you look for in devices, but personally, from my experience, unless you're specifically particular about phone refresh rates, you won't even notice. I don't. There's also a notch up front on the screen, but it relates to a higher purpose, which brings us to the next point. Buy this phone if you shoot TikTok videos. This phone reps a 44 megapixel selfie camera. Those are very good specs for a selfie cam, specifically because a lot of phones out there today focus mainly on the rear cameras and just let the selfie shooters languish to the detriment of our selfies. There's also that eye autofocus and the front facing camera, which as you can see, picks up my eye so that no matter what you do, your face is focused. Honestly, a great feature if you want to be shooting quick videos with a front-facing camera. Also, personally, my preference for shooting stuff because it means I can see what I look like in the viewfinder while I'm shooting. Next up, buy this phone if you vlog. And yes, this concerns a notch. It's actually bigger because there are two selfie cameras on this phone. There is that 44 megapixel main shooter and then an 8 megapixel wide angle shooter. So this is the front facing camera of the Vivo V20 Pro. It has a beauty mode built in, but I'm in hair and makeup. So we're not doing beauty mode for the first time ever. And this is 1X. And we have a front facing wide, which as you guys know, I love because if you're someone who likes vlogging or taking like OOTD photos with the scenery, this for you. Also, look at that awesome set. I've said this before, I'll say it a million times, I love it when there is a wide angle selfie shooter on a phone. It's because it gives me options when I shoot and honestly, it's just an easier way to shoot myself. I always, always want the option to do wide angle photos or videos on the selfie mode. There's also really cool selfie slow-mo video. There's also 4K on front facing video which is impressive and it's great for if you're the type who want to up your vlogging game if you want to do some cinematic vlogs. Yeah, that's an option. Lol, and yeah, this is a sample of that 4K. Also perfect for vlogs is this steady face mode which focuses on your face even if you're walking around, running around to make sure you are the star of your video. And yeah, as you can see, it's my face that's always in focus. And yes, the mode is also available in super wide angle. Nice, this looks good and steady. 
And on the rear camera, you can record video from wide to 1x to even as zoomed in as 6x. And yeah, what you're looking at right now is actual footage from the phone. Buy this phone if you love posting online and on social media. Whether it be selfies or Instagram stories, this phone has so many features that you're gonna love. First of all, this phone has an excellent makeup mode, which honestly I love because this means I can put makeup on without actually putting makeup on. I can tell you now that the makeup mode on Vivo phones are really good. Like, look at that. Did you see that? It's so subtle and it looks so real. Look. Right, for example, I just woke up right now and I don't have anything on my face. But if I needed to like take selfies and pretend that I've already made up my face, I can do that. So go into beauty mode, go into makeup mode. So you have all these different makeup modes. As you can see, those look really natural and you can come in and change every single thing on here so for example i want to change my lipstick nice right and the different looks actually look good they look natural and if you feel like they look a little too fake you can even toggle intensity. There's also this posture mode which is pretty unique to Vivo phones. Like, it's so cute. Basically, it gives you a pose and you sort of do the pose. Wait, you can't see it because like I'm here. But you sort of do the pose. You sort of do it via that outline. So basically, the premise is it, it allows you better photos because you have... Um, this little stencil that you can follow <laughs> it's cute there's even this cool dual exposure mode that makes for pretty effects other cool stuff include the dual view mode which allows you to shoot with the front and the back camera so you can even toggle to this type of dual view mode this should be fun for like social media posts or instagram stories hi girl What's new with you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Zoom, but oh. I don't know. <laughs> so, in this meeting. <laughs> you can also do that on videos. So, I like these filters. You have fresh, and from here, you can change the hue of the whole video and even the intensity of the makeup. And this is how some of them look. Really natural, too. And different ones give different effects, different vibes. Ooh, fresh. Again, really great for like shooting stuff like with Instagram stories. These filters, I literally don't need to put makeup on or do anything and I can shoot right off the bat. I love. Buy this phone if you want to take nice photos. Fitted with a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel multifunction camera, which just means this camera acts as your wide angle camera, your bokeh camera, your super macro camera, and a 2 megapixel mono camera. Basically, that means you can take so many different types of photos. Here are some examples. if you want to think ahead. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a 5G enabled phone. Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G powers this phone and just like with other Qualcomm 765G phones I've tried, I've had no problems with performance for my daily use cases. That includes multitasking, a lot of social media, a lot of photos, and even more selfies. I mean, this phone also has a vapor cooling system and an ultra game mode, but I leave the gaming reviews to the hardcore gamers. For my needs, basically bejeweled and some cute games, it's good. And finally, get this phone if you want all day battery power. 
that 4000 milliamp hour battery is enough to last me throughout the day and sometimes even more. That 33 watt flash charge is good. It's not the best out there, but it still means I'm not plugging in this phone for like three hours just to charge every day. And that was our look at the Vivo V20 Pro. I'm sure there are so many other use cases for this phone, but the ones that I mentioned are the ones that I do and the ones that I actually appreciate in devices. I think it's official. This phone isn't just looks. Right, that's it for today. Let me know what you think about this phone, the Vivo V20 Pro. I'll also put the price and the purchase links down below. We'll have a video on the Vivo V20 SE next, so let me know what your questions are about that new phone. Also, let me know what you guys think about this new format. I personally love talking about the features I actually use and enjoy on phones, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online, that's at Isa Does. Underscore. Until next time!